I know that there are like so many PA programs and there's no guarantee that you're actually gonna get into a program in the state that you actually like live and may have worked in. More often than not, most people go to schools outside of the states that they've lived in because, you know, you kind of go where you get in. And, and sometimes it's not uh, very close. So because of that, I had a question that was asked about how do you get a job essentially outside of the state that your school is in because I did that myself and I'm gonna talk about just kind of like my path to that and what I did because it wasn't easy there was a lot of footwork that needed to be done and so if you this is a path that you're interested in then you should absolutely watch this video and you should be prepared to do some work okay so let's get into the video right now you guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel um, I make PA related videos obviously um, about my life as a PA as I, my life when I was a PA student and then just a general like what a PA is and so I have all those questions on this channel so take a look around if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe so Alexis Buckner asked me, hey Adana, thank you for a great video as usual. I had a question regarding choosing a PA school. I know in a previous video you said to go to school where you want to work, but I was wondering how hard is it to get a job if you don't work, want to work in the area that you went to school? Please never stop making videos. You've been a godsend for my pre-PA journey. Hope you and your family are well. All right, thank you, Alexis. Um, I appreciate all those well wishes. And yes, uh, it is hard. I, I'll answer it like from the jump. Um, it's hard, but not as hard as you may think. Now, obviously there are some factors that can make this a little bit more difficult. And so I will tease those out with you on this video. Um, but there are things that you can do to try to like kind of negate those. So for me, you know that I lived in like, like the DMV like metro area and I went to school in Virginia and so it was about a three and a half hour like distance from my home base so we actually moved to Virginia for a year now um, it would have been longer had I have decided to do all of my rotations in Virginia but I knew for sure that I was not trying to live and work in Virginia after I got um, you know out of PA school more specifically the city that I was in and so because of that I was like look I asked them from the beginning from actually like I think my interview I asked hey do you all um, do you all accept like outside rotations do you allow your students to do outside rotations out of state rotations um, um, are you looking for new affiliations those are all like your key words that you would um, kind of plug in uh, and if the answer is yes then you are set you are good now you have to in yourself kind of choose and decide whether or not this is a deal breaker for you or not like so are you like with it or not because at the end of the day if you only want to be in the state and the city or within like a 40 mile radius of where you live then you know that's the deal breaker for you if they say no we don't um if it, if you don't care then all right um you're you're good and then you can go out of the state and then come back and work uh or do your rotations in the state where your home base is so because my program was like yes they do what i did was as soon as i got in that summer that i got in i looked at when rotations would start and then immediately i started cold calling uh different people different offices in my home base and i was asking hey do you guys take students do you take PA students um, to do rotations if so what is that process like um, and then if they were like oh there's a charge or there isn't a charge uh, just send me the paperwork then I immediately went to my clinical year director and I um, I spoke to her about it and and then she put me in contact with, uh, I don't remember what her title was, but she was the one that was setting up all of our rotations in 
in the state, but she also worked with rotations out of the state. And so she gave me all of the affiliation agreement documents that I needed to send to the various different hospital systems and also the various different offices. Now, that is like the major part of getting rotations outside of the state. And that is the thing that will allow you to easily get jobs within the state that you want to be in. So if you can't get all of them, even if you can get one or two, like per se, like an elective, then it is important for you to actually try and do that. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be working where for the most part, where you build relationships, like it's going to be so much easier for you to come in because you know, like the PA community, although we're large and getting larger, like it's a small community. Um, I know people at my hospital that work at other hospitals um, and vice versa. And so even if they don't necessarily like know me, like somebody at another hospital, they may know somebody that I work with. And so that is the same thing if you are a PA student. If you're a PA student and you came and you did a rotation at this hospital and you were like complete trash and you were like disrespectful and you didn't do a good job, like that stuff gets around. If now all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> you're trying to get a, a job at another hospital and they're like, oh, I remember her or I remember him and they didn't really care. Like they didn't see their patients. They came in late, whatever the case may be. So you're building those relationships and those bridges where you want to work. So therefore, it makes it so much easier if you're able to go ahead and get rotations in the state that you wanna work in. Even if it's one, if it's one and it's an elective, make that elective count. And so that is how I was able to really and truly get a job. And I like I got it really easily, honestly. Um, when I got out of PA school, um, but notwithstanding that, like honestly, like you will wherever you're at start looking at the jobs now look at the market now because there are lots of PA jobs out there and so you should be able to apply to many jobs I applied to like over 60 jobs I think it was um and then I think like my my interview ask was maybe about 20 percent of the jobs that I applied to. So look at that ratio and see, you know, all right, maybe I'll be okay because I did get job offers, but I was sitting out here like teasing them out, like trying to make sure that that worked for my family, for myself, because we had bills. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that not only was the office space right and the people felt right, but the money was right. And so these are all things that you will take into consideration. But honestly, like the easiest way to get a job in the state that you were, that you were in prior to to PA school or in a different state, um, even if it's the state that you live in, but you want to work in, you know, let's say you live in North Carolina, but you want to work in Maryland, then the thing for you to do is to realize that off the bat, start looking for affiliations at hospitals or reaching out to, you know, PAs that you may see on Instagram or you may know, um, and then go from there and see what bites because Fortune favors the bold, okay? And so you gotta you gotta put yourself out there and make sure that you you do your part so that uh, that end part of getting a job or getting an, an offer or applying to jobs is so much easier, okay? So Alexis, hopefully I answered that question for you. Um, it is difficult, but it can be made easy as long as you um, know automatically off the bat where exactly you want to work and then start looking for rotations in that particular state if your school allows it and if your school does not allow it then you start trying to make connections you know immediately in terms of looking at PAs that might work there or um, looking at what the job market looks like um, in that particular state and then moving on from that okay Thank you guys. Thanks so much for asking that question. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at on PA and on Instagram at GetThat's the University. And be sure to join me back on Tuesday, you guys, because on Tuesday I will be doing another school live. It will be 7 p.m. That is our new time, 7 p.m. Tuesday evenings. Um, and so if you're interested in seeing the prerequisites that a school that you you guys have listed is requiring join me on Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. 